Hello, crafty friends. My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And I'm here today with updated guidelines for 2024 on how to show us your sheet load. I hope you'll stick around and find out more. I don't know about you, but I love seeing what not only my team creates with the sheet load of cards, but also what you, the viewers, create. And I'm here today to tell you how you can share your sheet load of card creations with other subscribers and viewers. Some things will be the same as in the past and some things will be different. So I hope that you'll stick around to find out all of the details. With previous Show Us Your Sheet Load guidelines, there were three ways that you could share your creations with other crafters here online. You could make a video here on YouTube, a post over on Instagram, or you could send in a card for my end of the month Show Us Your Sheet Load slash Happy Mail video. Well, as many of you know, some things change in the middle of last year, especially with sending in cards for that end of the month video. I did have to postpone that series for a while, but starting this month, January 2024, I'm bringing it back. But please note that there are a few changes from in the past, so make sure you listen to find out about those. Now for 2024, there are a couple new ways you can show us your sheet load. So let's start with those. First, I am on a third social media site that you can share and tag me on, and that is TikTok. You will still use just as if you do a video or Instagram post, which I'll recap here in a little bit, you'll use those two hashtags at the top of each printable. And if you tag me in it, you know, by doing a little at call me crafty owl, which TikTok, it's a little different. It's at call underscore me underscore crafty underscore owl. That's going to help me see it. And if other viewers follow either the monthly hashtag or the general one hashtag show us your sheet load, they'll be able to see those as well. So all you would have to do on TikTok is make a little video about your card and then just use those hashtags in the description box. The second new way, and some of you have already been doing it for many months, but I didn't always advertise it. You can share your sheet load in the album section of my Facebook group. In the description box below is a link to the group if you're not already a member. Please note that you do have to answer all of the questions and agree to the rules to be automatically granted access to the group. Now, another thing you'll want to do, it's not a group where we chat a lot. I mostly just post about new videos or if I have a live video, but in the album section, I have an album for every past sheet load of cards, as well as one for just when you're inspired by a different one of my videos that isn't a sheet load. One thing that's very important is I don't approve any posts for the discussion wall that contain pictures. So make sure that you're going into the albums, finding the month that you created your cards with and uploading your cards there. This way your posts don't get lost on a discussion or on that main page that when somebody is working on a specific sheet load of cards, they have that one album they can go to to get inspiration. I hope that if you're not already a member, I'll see you there soon. Now for some of the older ways to show us your sheet load. And as I mentioned before, that's with a video here on YouTube or a post over on Instagram. As always monthly, I give you the two hashtags at the top of the printable to use. One is specific to the month. So this one is, at, is hashtag S-U-Y-S-D-E-C 2023. And that means you're showing us your sheet load using December 2023. The second hashtag you'll want to use is one that is for every month and that is hashtag show us your sheet load. I follow both of those hashtags each month and I do like to go through and sometimes, especially on Instagram, spotlight subscribers who are sharing. 
Now, another good thing to do if it's a video here or a post over on Instagram is to go ahead and tag my account. So at both places, if you want to put in your description box or in your title, you'll start typing in at call me crafty Al, and my channel should pop up and you can click on that and it will also notify me that I've been tagged in a video or a post. Now you might think that's just extra hassle and it's fine, you don't have to do it. But I will tell you that the guest artists that you are seeing in 2024 joining us here on YouTube for Sheet Load of Cards, those are artists who have been tagging me and using those hashtags. That is usually how I find new members for my team. Now the final way is when you send me a physical card that I share during my end of the month video. In the past, I allowed you to send me as many cards as you wanted. It could be the current month. It could be one from, you know, years ago. It didn't matter. But because my mom has passed away and I used to give all those cards to her to donate to like her church and local retirement homes, I don't have that option anymore. So right now for me to collect a whole bunch of cards that I have to find a home for just isn't feasible. So what I'm going to ask you to do if you would like to share a physical card with me that uses a sheet load is just send in a single card for the current month. On the inside, feel free to write me a little note, even if it's just simple as hello crafty owl, and then I will admire those for a month and I do store the ones with those personal messages and from time to time go back and look at them when I need a little pick me up. Then what I do with those cards is I collect them for the month and do a video usually on the last day of the month that shows the sheet load cards I got. And I know some of you like to send me cards just because, and I shared those as well in that happy mail video. Now from time to time, just because of mailing dates, you might see a card using last month's sketch, but I thought this would be a great way where you can still share your sheet load with me, but I won't be overwhelmed by blank cards I need to find a place to donate. Thank you so much for your understanding on that. I really did enjoy getting a lot in the past that my mom could share with her local community. I hope now that you know those ways to show us your sheet load that I'll be seeing one from you soon. If you do have any questions about this, make sure to leave those in the comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.